Hi guys, Colin here with a planner setup video. This is my classic happy planner for 2019. This is the student planner and it's actually a 2018 to 2019 planner. But I didn't fall in love with any of the new releases. So I'm just going to set this up today. First thing I want to do is I want to take out the months that have already passed. And I will be using these. I'll just redate them. Changing this cloud, or if you're doing this similar thing that I'm doing, it's easier just to do it a month at a time. Okay, so I actually want January currently page. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paper clip get some other paper clips in a minute these two together so that whenever that turns then we've got the January currently page so on the back of that is December the last week in December so just gonna pop months that have passed into the back of the planner. Okay, so that is the month sorted. Um, I have a few wee bits that I got in the Black Friday sale that I want to add in. I'm not sure I may need to take out a few months. I'm not totally sure yet. Um, got this wee super mom dashboard. Got oh, sticker sheet. And then this is the current planner. So there's stuff in here that I want to take out. I want to put my email planner into the deluxe cover as well. So this was my planner this year. So I want to take out the sticky notes and pop them in. And I want to yep, take the folder. My repeat pressers. Bookmark. And I did actually get some new ones as well. So let me just take that one in. I don't know if I need that. Not sure. This is my sort of note section. That was just an old monthly divider. I don't think I'm going to have room for all this stuff, so I may have to take out 
some months. So this here is my reading log. Um, I have to actually update that. There's quite a few books but not on there. And then this was a list of all the sticker books I have. So I want those to go in and I'll go page. Like the 2019 quick tracker. I think I actually got the quick tracker from my life plan of babies on Facebook. So that's that back section. After older and um, sticky notes. And then I usually put one of these in the current month. Chunky, but it's not too bad yet. But when I start decorating that, it may need um, a few months removed. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to off this back cover hopefully into the deluxe cover. I'm not totally convinced I'm gonna stay with this front cover. Um I may make my own. Um I got one of the wee Mam B make your own covers so I may do that. Yeah because it's got a bit uh roughed up in transit from America. So this is my setup. So we've got, oh, I don't know what I do need to do. So nice board of stickers, we pop it, which I might actually pop in front. Oh, so we pop it, we dashboard, the edge protector. Sticky notes, folder, and then we've got a name um, decal from Bad Planner Print. And pop on the first page. The only thing is, these are so, 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 so little to pop on. I think it's actually going to fit on the line. Okay, 
Okay, so it's not quite on the line, but it's grand. It did down. And then we've got the 2019 year at a glance. We've got course contacts. And then we're into the monthly. And then the weekly. And then this section at the back just for notes and trackers reading tracker and my sticker books so that is my classic catch-all set up for 2019 this we this we planner doesn't actually travel with me it just stays at home um, i have a wee mini that i take on the go so if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you consider subscribing, that would be even better. And I'll see you next time. Bye.